you can't get anywhere without a car battery. It plays a crucial role in powering and keeping a vehicle running. Even in modern and electric vehicles, the 12 volt battery is still a key component of the entire electronic system. But battery technology has changed. And so too have cars. They place more requirements on the battery to keep running. For drivers, that is crucial. That means they need to ensure their battery is healthy, whether that's through battery checks or a regular replacement. Garages are gonna play a key role in advising what battery is best for their vehicle and also making sure that their current battery is healthy. But just how has the battery market changed over the recent years? Well, it has, it's changed a lot because obviously now we have the internet and everyone can search for things immediately. Um, AGMs and EFB, as you may or may not know, it's not new technology and the systems on the cars aren't new, they're just being developed over the time. So they arrived at about 2009 uh, for start-stop and obviously have developed into what we've got now, but you know, brake regeneration has been around for a long, long time even before that. It, it's, it's, the, the biggest worry really is that there is so many electronics on a car now and, and I always tell people this when we're teaching that the battery is now the most single most important part of the vehicle more so than fuel or absolutely anything else because it literally runs your whole car you're driving a computer now and everything that runs on that vehicle is powered by the battery and the battery management system and voltage is now king drop a voltage you know you've only got to drop one volt two volt and then everything stops working or appears not to work so, you know, the way that the AGMs and EFBs have progressed and the technology that's inside the batteries over the last, I don't know, well, probably since they came out 2008, 2009, it has been massively different. Now, this car has a start-stop system. So do many, many more that are on the road today. And in fact, all cars today are sold with start-stop systems. And these vehicles will be coming into the aftermarket in three years' time. There's many technological advances that have been put in place on modern vehicles in the name of regulations or to reduce emissions, but they all put pressure on the 12 volt battery. So what has changed and what do battery manufacturers need to know when it comes to making sure that their batteries are lasting for modern vehicles? With start-stop technology, um, that was introduced to reduce vehicle emissions and it did that by obviously stopping the vehicle when you're at traffic lights and so on that put additional strain on starter motors um, and, and batteries as a result of all the additional starts um, to support that process um, vehicle manufacturers specified EFB and AGM um, battery technologies but they also introduced smart charge systems um, now those smart charge systems were actually very very effective at maintaining the battery's condition far better than traditional SLI batteries so on, on balance although there's far more electrical demands on a start-stop battery um, than there was previously they're lasting a lot longer it's not uncommon to see start-stop first fit batteries lasting seven plus plus years um, it, it corresponded at a time when there was an awful lot more um, electric motors, um, sensors and other electrical drawers in the vehicle as well. But that combination of improved battery technology and, st and smart charge systems has really helped them to last a lot longer. It used to be that taking a battery and replacing it was a simple case of swapping them out. But now even older vehicles are having less accessibility to the battery unit. And this creates more problems for technicians looking to do a simple battery swap. A spokesperson from Varta Batteries told us, battery fitting is getting more complex for workshops and installing replacement batteries on vehicles can take well over an hour. This is due to the increasing number of batteries being installed in difficult to reach places, such as under the seats or behind panels inside the cabin rather than beneath the bonnet. The number of steps to change a battery is therefore increasing as removing seats and flooring takes time and on top of that often diagnostic equipment is required for reprogramming the battery to the battery management system. 
An example of a complex battery changeover is the Volkswagen Touareg, which has 28 steps to remove the old battery and install a new replacement battery. This takes 72 minutes. Therefore, a technician should feel confident charging a customer for labour time on these types of time-consuming battery jobs. But when it comes to fitting batteries in vehicles, both old and modern, how important is it to understand the technology that goes into these units today? Um, the vehicle manufacturers are getting a, a little bit cleverer to this because they're forcing people to do something with a vehicle now. So if a battery drops below a certain spec on, I don't know, uh, let's just say a BMW, then it puts the driver's side window down you know, and it forces you to go and do something. So whether that's put a new battery on it, charge the old battery, take it to a garage, whatever, it's making you actually do something. Uh, same Mercedes do the same, say the VW Audi group. Um, and it's, it's things like this. When I go and talk to garages, I'll say, oh, do you work on start, stop? And they go, no, nah, mate, we never see that in here. That's too new for us. And you think, well, come on, really. You know, I'm looking around their workshops thinking, well, that car over there's got brake regen, that one's over there's got start, stop. And they go, oh, oh, start, stop. That's, oh, yeah, yeah. And you just think, well, there ain't two. It's just, there's just the one start, stop systems. And you then start talking to them, because obviously they always think you're there to sell something. You start talking to them and they are having issues because they're not sure about coding. They're not sure about the battery management systems. They're not really sure how it works. They might have an inkling or you know, they've got a mate they can phone that'll help. They bought a bit of diagnostic kit, but they don't really use it. They don't understand why they should be testing batteries. Um, so there's lots and lots of, um, well, in my opinion, lots of education still needs to be done around the garages and 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 to make sure that people do buy the right product because if it's just price then you're just going to go for the cheapest every time and that's not going to do the right job for the vehicle now when a car comes into the garage for work it's important to make sure that you check the battery as well even if it's not required for the job that you're doing after all if the battery fails at any point that could come back to the garage for not checking in the first place and also it gives you a better sense of what could be going on with the vehicle or potential opportunities to speak to the customer about further work. It's quick and easy to do. It's a pretty straightforward process. Um, batteries are normally pretty accessible in a vehicle, um, easy to find. Um, there's, things, there's resources available online to, to look up um, the correct battery for a vehicle and that will often include where the battery location is. Sometimes they're in boots, sometimes they're under bonnets, occasionally they're under seats which are trickier but um, yeah they're, they're normally pretty accessible. Um, the details that you enter into the battery tester are on the battery label itself so it's just a case of picking out um, the amp hours and the, um, and the cold cranking amps for the tester. Um, a conductance tester will provide a state of charge and state of health of the vehicle battery. Um, if it's on a low state of charge, um, you can charge it for the customer while you're working on it, while it's in the workshop. Um, if it's showing a low state of health, um, then you can advise the customer that the battery is potentially nearing the end of its life. Um, there's an opportunity then to change it for them or for the customer to go away and come back um, another time if it's, if it's more convenient to. Battery checks also tell technicians that a unit is ready to sustain a vehicle when it is undergoing a deep diagnostic check that could last hours. But how important is it to manage the battery in this scenario? There's, there's two reasons. Firstly, is obviously to look after the, the battery that's on the vehicle. Um, if it's if it's discharged through a diagnostic process, it's, it's going to be held in a low state of charge. It's going to sulfate. It's more likely to, to fail for the customer. Um, but battery support is also essential in making sure that those diagnostic processes complete satisfactorily. Um, you, you need a um, you need a consistent um, current to support those diagnostic processes, and you need to support the vehicle battery. Um, so you're you're really looking for a battery support tool that's going to give you at least sixty amps because if the battery is already discharged, you need to charge that 
and to provide the current required for the diagnostic processes. Um, so yeah, you need to you need to choose carefully what battery support tool that you that you use that it's going to give you the um, the amperage that that it's going to need that the vehicle's going to need um, and the diagnostic process is going to need um, but also that it's it's sufficient that it's not going to derate so if you've got a um, a support unit that's that's not up to the task it risks derating not giving the vehicle um, the electricity that it needs and ultimately failing and disrupting those diagnostic processes which could set you back hours and hours and hours so understanding battery technology is important. Making sure that customers' batteries are up to full health is key. And knowing the role that garages are going to be playing in battery fitting is essential. The battery is the heart of the car and is under more pressure than ever. But the aftermarket has a crucial role to play to ensure that drivers stay on the road and don't suffer battery failure.